Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create files and the links dragging effects in PyQt5 in Python. So the idea is actually coming from a subscriber who just emailed me a couple days ago, asking how to create a list box that if I drag any files. So, so for example, if I go to my test folder, if I want to drag all these files and to grab all the uh, file paths and add those file paths uh, in my list box. So here's an example. Uh, so here's my uh, demo application. And within this application, I have a, a list box and right here I have a push button. So if I just basically select all my files and, and folder, so here I have one single folder. And if I just drag these files and, and that folder, my application is going to capture all the uh, files, file path, as well as the folder path and add them in my uh, list box. And also, uh, so I was also playing around with the, my application. I can also drag my uh, browser link. So here, let me put the, the, the application back. So if, let's say if I want to also, not just the, not just the file path, I also want to grab the link. I can also drag this, drag this link into my application. And if I go to the last item, and here's the link that uh, I just drag and drop from my, my Chrome browser. You can also do that from Firefox as well. So if I want to drag google.com into my application, and here if uh, I perform the drag and drop effect, and google.com is going to get added to my list box. So this is the application we'll be doing, and hopefully uh, some of you guys will find this tutorial uh, useful. Now here, uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the libraries. From the PyQt5 uh, Qt widget module, uh, widgets, Qt widgets module, I'm going to import Q application, Q main window. So I'll be using the uh, main window as my uh, application container, uh, list widget, uh, list widget item, so Q list widget item, and a push button. And from the Qt core module, I'll be uh, importing the Qt class, Q URL, and just those two classes. Now, Right, so here I'm going to construct my uh, main window application class. I'll name this class as app demo, and I'll pass the Q main window class as my parent class. All right, now here I'm going to set the window size to let's do uh, twelve hundred to six hundred. And to create our view, so which is the, the customized uh, list box, I'm actually going to um, create a separate class and to use a kind of like a replacement uh, list box widget class. I'll name this class as uh, list, uh, list box widget. Let me see, list box. And the parent class is going to be Q list widget class, uh, Q list widget class. I'm going to have a uh, optional parent parameter. So from the QList widget uh, class, and want to uh, set the set drops uh, setting to two. So this will allows allows us to perform the drag and drop. And I'm also going to resize the list box. Now here I should here let me create my Q application uh, instance. And I'll construct my app demo instance as uh, demo. And for the uh, 
this box widget instance, I'll name the, the object as uh, view. So actually, uh, list view. Uh, actually, LST and VIEW. And I'll pass the, so I'll use, uh, I'll use the list box widget class that we just created and use that as, uh, to construct our customized uh, list widget. I also need a button, so I'll name this. I'll just name the button as self.ptn. It's equals to Q push button, and here I'll uh, provide the the text caption caption get value. And I'll pass the self to reference the PN uh, class, and this one too. And I'll move the so I'll move the button a little bit. Also resize the button as well. So I'll set the geometry to city and let's do actually 50, let's do 50, 400, 250. Now let's just take a look at uh, the our application. So the button is uh, placed at this wheel position. So let me move that to the right. Let me see, so I'll move that to 500. Oh, so that's the size, uh, 500. Okay, let me, so let me change that to 1000. That should be good. Okay, so, uh, so A50 will be the final, uh, uh, left value. Now, if we have the, the window, so this is gonna be our window application. And we have a button and the list widget on the left. And now we have to create the, the drag and drop effect. So we'll go back to the uh, list box widget class and we'll basically uh, reconstruct each event one by one. The first event I want to uh, re, so to modify is the drag enter events. And we're going to have a events parameter. So here I'm going to say if events my data has your else. Then I'm going to accept the events. Otherwise, I'm going to ignore. And that's for the enter events. So, uh, not enter, drag enter events. The second events we want to modify is the drag move events. And we're also going to have a events parameter. And here I'm going to also perform the same if statement. So if events my data has reals, then I want to set my drop action to Qt copy action. And, and I want to accept the events. Otherwise, we're going to ignore. Now for the drop events, which is the most important events. Uh, if events my data has URLs. And I want to set the drop action. Events set drop action. And I want to set that to Qt copy action as well. And I want to accept the events. So events accept. Now here we're going to create a list, uh, list object, kind of like a container. We drop multiple items. The signal is going to store all, all the uh, links and the URLs uh, into a list object. So here, let's see. Uh, if I print events dot my data, and I can. Uh, reference the list using the URLs uh, method. And hopefully there's, there's no typo. Now if I just simply uh, grab a file, actually, let me grab three files. And I'll drag those three files and drop in my list box. And here, as you can see that, uh, one print the events my data dot URLs. And that statement is going to give me so all the files as a QURL object. Now let me close these. So here I can iterate, uh, 
each link, so each element from our list, which is this list right here. So for URL in uh, this list object, and I'm going to do a validation. Remember, we can uh, drag uh, either uh, local files, which is uh, just uh, files on my PC, or we can drag um, browser URL as well. But in able to do that, we need to uh, verify what type of uh, link or URL that we are, we are performing the drag and drop. So here I'll say if URL is local file, so local file meaning uh, files from your computer. Then I want to uh, append the item to my links object right here. So I'll convert the so first I'll convert that to a string, and I'll use the URL dot to local file method. And otherwise, we know it's going to be a non-local file. We can just directly convert that to strings. And lastly, we want to add everything to our uh, list box. So add items, uh, we'll, we'll pass the links object. All right. Now, lastly, uh, so here we have a so here's our uh, if statement, and want to say so if everything fail, then want to ignore the event. And that's it for the uh, list box widget class. Now we have the the list uh, the list box. Actually, I mean, let me rename this as list box widget. Maybe. That's fine. So I'll name this as list box view underscore view. And we'll also, so if we want to uh, extract the, so the items by uh, pressing the push button, I need to create a click of events. And for this event, I want to, so every time when users uh, push the, the push button, and I want to print wherever the item is select. So here I'll do within the print function, I'll print get select item, and it's going to be a function. So we don't have the we don't have the function yet. And here let me get let me create a function. So the function is get select item, and we're going to create a queue list widget item object, and from the List box view object. We want to grab the current item, so the current select item. And want return. And want to return the item, so I T E N. Dot text. All right, now that's everything uh, we need. So that's basically the the entire Python script. Now, if I run the Python script and launch the application. Now, if I go back and I'm going to drag all, all the files and folders into my uh, list box widget. And here are all the, the links. Now, if I go to my browser, I'm just going to use uh, Chrome. If I just highlight my uh, link, and I'll drag this link and drop in my list box. And here's our URL. Now, if I want to, uh, should we go back? So, if I want to uh, extract any of these values, so let's say I want to extract uh, the first item, so I'll select the first item, and I'll click on Get Value Push Button, and that returns the the file path, and same with the the link. If I select the link, Get Value, and that will return the the link address. All right, so this is I'm going to cover in this lesson, and hopefully, you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.